Okay, that's the sleeve pack for a, <clears throat> a two-can container of uh, Magic Flame gelled alcohol cooking fuel. And surprisingly, it's it's not like Sterno. It's uh, really a jelly. Notice it won't spill, but it's it's not dead hard like a Sterno is. This stuff is spoonable, so what I'm going to do, I've got a smaller tin here. You see how small that is? And I just punched a hole in its cap. Yeah, Sterno, I don't think Sterno would be spoonable like this. Let me put the camera down, and we'll spoon some into the container. I've never done this before, so I don't know if it's going to work or if I'm going to have a flaming accident. But there, I propose that that might make a usable burner. Let's, let's try it. What I found in an earlier trial using the open can was it and then I spoon some of this out into an open container. It's very well behaved stuff. It doesn't even need to be in a container. You can just put a dollop on a <clears throat> on a tin sheet and burns and it stays in place. It doesn't melt and run around. Of course there's no wick needed. I'm going to turn off the overhead light for a minute. Okay. So let's turn off the camera and we'll come back in 15 minutes and see if it's still burning. I'll shoot for 15 minutes, okay, and I'll turn the camera back on then. Okay, it's now 15 minutes later. The fuel supply is still high, as you see. This is a very small burner. Let me turn off the light again, maybe we can see the flame. So at the rate it's going, it looks like that little supply there <clears throat> would run for an hour. So it's just a matter of scale. If this wasn't enough heat for a small engine, I'd be surprised for a very small engine. Okay, I consider it a, to be a promising test. What do you think?